Chapter 2 Heirs of Infinity I don't know why you keep asking for his help. You know that I don't like you being around him. Don't remind me of the nature of our relationship. I know, but... Nell Sorrow is nothing but trouble, Ravania. Wrangle Gola to Ravania before she set out for Imgash. A ship as dark as space streaked out of Hyperion. Its inky hull gleamed in the starlight. Such a deep color of blue as to be almost black. The ship had a long neck with a broader section at the back and a pair of large cylindrical engines that each bore a triangular wing on them. The vessel, deep blue, sped across space toward a ship that was almost as white as the deep blue wasn't. The other ship, Last Hope, hung above a frozen world called Imgash, deep in the unknown regions of the first galaxy. Ravania Imanala sat in her command chair, in the center of the round bridge of her deep blue. Computer stations encircled her, and the helm and navigation stations were in front of her, set before the forward window. The window seemed to ripple. Then it displayed the commander of the last hope. The woman was striking in her beauty. She had white hair like Ravania, and they both shared brown eyes. Where Ravania wore a dress of white with blue trim, Ravanella wore one that was blue with white trim. Ravanella was shorter than Ravania and didn't share the woman's ancient Amara ethnic look. Ravanella's ancestry was Seraph. Though not blood relations, Ravanella Imanalia was Ravania's cousin. Her mother had been the adopted princess Hart Imanalia. Hart had grown up with the Amara heir Alathor Imanalia, and the sisters had fought side by side in the Hell War. Ravanella was Hart's eldest daughter, and as Ravania had inherited the throne from her mother, Ravanella sat on Hart's throne in her absence. It had been a long absence. Ravania, Ravanella greeted, bowing her head respectfully. Ravanella, Ravania responded with a warm smile. We are here as you requested. Now I hope you can clear up what all this subterfuge is about. Nell stepped up beside Ravania's command chair. She'd asked him to join her on this, and he'd arrived. He seemed so dark and grim right now. She wondered what he'd been through since Remlon. Still, it wasn't as if such grimness was out of character for him, but it just seemed more. He stared at the forward window, blue eyes locked ahead, frowning, dressed in a blue suit, holding his unneeded cane in one hand. Thank you for coming, Ravania, and for meeting me here, Ravanella said. As you are aware, I have a vested interest in the Kroom War with the Kajna. With your official clearance, I have been doing what I can to help the Kajna in their struggle, but I may have come up with a greater way to help. How? Ravania wondered. What do you know of the Lotus Temple? Ravanella asked. The Lotus Temple? Ravania said in surprise. It's been lost for eons. It's from a time before the Hell War. Refresh my memory on the Lotus Temple, Nell said to Ravanella. He always looked a little uncomfortable dealing with any of Hart Imanalia's children. Nell and Hart had bad history. The Lotus Temple, Ravanala said, smiling at Nell, is an ancient white basalt structure built by the ancient Chionsa people who vanished long, long ago. The temple is rumored to look like a gigantic white lotus blossom. Legend has it the Lotus Temple had a magic portal connecting it to an undying world, Zhang Yion, an ancient planet that has, for eons, been filled with Dorash and magic like few others. Ravanella's face fell as she added, It also happens to sit in the closed borders of Upper Zyria. A star kingdom closed to most of the rest of the known worlds, Nell grumbled, except the Kroom, who have an alliance with Upper Zyria. Okay, I remember now. I have heard of this before, Nell said. I thought you might, Ravanella replied warmly. It is the perfect place for Igman Grode to hide the Daughter of Night and almost, I stress almost, impossible for the Kashna to get there. You are looking for a safer route, Ravania reasoned. Ravanala nodded. What's more, my people have a lead. They think a Florian man named Sul Nithil, who lives on Aspel, found the Lotus Temple thirty years ago. 
I know you've given me and my people clearance to work in your jurisdiction during the Kashina and Krum conflict, but I wanted to double check with you on this because it's a little outside our mandate. You know that I trust you, Rabanala, Ravania said gently. You are free to work and live in my so-called jurisdiction as much as you want. Still, it's best to make these things official. I don't need the Overdawn Council coming after me with red tape. <sighs> True enough, Ravania sighed, then nodded, looking thoughtfully at Ravanala. The source of your information is good? she asked. Very, Ravanala agreed. And if you find the Lotus Temple and this portal to Jangyeon, Ravania asked after a moment, what then? If the Kashna theory is right and Igmengrod is keeping the Daughter of Night safe there, we will go to Jengyeon, find them, and end this war, before they launch their final solution. We both know what it will take for the Knight of Night to open the Infinity Vault and get to the remnants of Infinity. Ravania nodded grimly. She knew all too well. Genocide, she whispered. Okay, she agreed. Move forward with your plan, Rabanala, with my official blessing, and if you need help, don't hesitate to call. Ravanala smiled and nodded. Thank you for everything. Safe journey, Ravania said. And to you, Ravanala replied. The forward window rippled as she ended the transmission. Ravania was quiet for a long moment, staring into nothing. What are you thinking? Nell asked after a moment. Ravania turned to look at the Shadow Traveler. Just, could it really be the Lotus Temple? She wondered. If it is, Nell offered. We should prepare our forces. This could get really bad very quickly. Ravania nodded and looked to the comm station where a green Jassid woman was sitting. Open a channel to my husband at his palace. I'm going to ask for his assistance. For all the good it will do, Nell grumbled. Ravania nodded grimly. Thank you for listening. Please uh, like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and there are more episodes on the way.